control. All right, so first with us on BT viewers, stand by for liftoff. In 10 short days, you have the opportunity to join Commander Chris Hadfield as he embarks on a year four of his one of a kind variety show, Generator. Witness the worlds of comedy, music, art, science, and celebrity coming together for a future focused entertainment like nothing else. Here to tell us more about this year's event, give it up for Commander Chris Ooh, Hadfield. Yeah, right, it's always right, so right. good to see you. Great to see you both. Thank this you. is the fourth year that you're throwing this. Fourth year of Generator. You know, when we, we served outside of Canada, my wife and I, for 26 years. When we moved back, we thought there are so many amazing things happening, some great ideas. And it would be good to bring it to the stage here if we could. Canadians doing stuff you've never heard of. People building exoskeletons that allow folks that have disabilities to walk. Um, original ideas of poetry and music and art. But the technology behind it. And the, fo the previous three years, the guests we've had have just been fascinating. We've sold out all three years. And we're going to be at Roy Thompson on the 15th. You changed the venue for Massey Hall? Well, yeah, Massey Hall's getting a redo. So yeah. uh, I'd, I'd love to get back to Massey Hall as soon as they've redone it. But the show, I, people came away from our last show, just uh, myself included, just amazed. Some of the people we had on stage, it was terrific. How do you decide? I mean, there must be incredible selection on who you want to bring up and um, share their knowledge. It, and their, it was and my their son's idea. He's the, that the video you showed playing uh, Space Oddity was my son's suggestion. Evan, he's filming a, a series right now called Rare Earth Around the World. The, the show was his idea, his suggestion. What he does is he just goes through all the interesting people, people you just would love to somehow meet, and then he says, Dad, give them a call, see if they'll come to the show. So I, I cold call these people. Nobody says that. <laughs> Nobody yeah, says that to you. Commander yeah, Chris Hadfield on the phone. I, I cold yeah. call them, and, and, uh, and I'm like, you know, it sounds silly, but would you like to come to Toronto and be on the show? And, and uh, everybody says yes. And so we've had, we've had uh, Adam Savage from Mythbusters mm -hmm. help host one year. Robin Ince, our British host, he's a brilliant comedian and sort of science nerd kind of guy. But it's a combination of some comedians. Some, we have a great musician lined up this year, as well as our house band, which is the Tupperware Remix They're Party. Awesome. And nice. um, but but some of the ideas that come to the stage, and, uh, and it's I think for families starting at about ten or eleven is about as young as you'd want because it's a lot of just ideas and a mix of entertainment but uh, it's been a, a rollicking success the last three years can you drop us some names i know a lot of it i mean the beauty is the element of surprise who's next on stage but you can allow some names to link or no, no link. the whole oh. the whole key is uh, you're coming <laughs> thanks for asking <laughs> no problem um, but i mean we had uh gosh a, a couple of years ago this company in southern england realized with 3d printing you could print prosthetics for kids that have either born without an arm or a leg or had one uh, you know injured and instead of just a fake arm, why don't you make them like a superhero? Make, mm. Give that child an Iron Man hand. And they go from being uh, that you know, the kid that has no hand to suddenly the kid who has the superhero hand. And they, kids grow, of course, so they need constant replacement. And they've done this for very little money. They're getting uh, support from the people that own all the superhero brands, you know, Disney and such. And to have them come on stage, explain, we had this simple idea. We made it happen, and then look at what it's doing for the lives of these Powering. kids. Yeah. That's the type of story I just, I just love to be able to bring to the stage here, and, and the reaction's been superb. Have you seen some collaboration coming out, coming out of that as well? Like people you wouldn't have expected getting together and are now actually getting together. The coolest was uh, when we came out of our first show, someone came up and said, hey, we have a ship going up to the high Arctic, and I'd really love it if you could bring some of your generator people on board. So we gathered 15 people, and I brought up artists and YouTube uh, videographers and, and uh, photographers and a musician, Danny Michelle, because I wanted to share the Canadian Arctic with as many people as possible. And about 20 million people, as a result, came up to 83 degrees, degrees north with us. And we did a show at the Art Gallery of Ontario as a result, uh, the video shows. Uh, Danny Michelle wrote a whole album about it called Named After the Ship, the Kalebnikov. All of that spun out a generator. And, uh, and so, yeah, it, it immediately, um, when you put new ideas in front of people, they start thinking of things they never would have before, and then, hence the name, Generating Generator. Generating the message. That's right. Now, they do say imitation is the most sincere form of flattery, and we just had Halloween come and go. Take a look at this. Are you ever getting tired, used to, less affected by <laughs> little ones Good mustache. who see you as their superhero? Hey, Roger, how do those mustaches <laughs> they're, I know, they're better than mine already. Right? Right. Roger's yeah. trying to catch up to you, you with know, the November me, this, mustache. This is just delightful because, you know, kids wear what they dream of being they're not they're not afraid of they're not shy we all could have dressed like anything today we sort of dress like people on a tv show but they dress like who they dream of being and i love 
I love the, the, the portent of it, and people send me those pictures. I have them on my fridge at home. Oh, it's really I love nice. It. Yeah. You deserve it. That yeah. is so much more. You have the Walk of Fame coming up in a little I, bit. Shout I out do. to your family. Of yeah, course, and my whole family's coming, which will be, which will be really nice. My mom and dad are, are proud. It. And we've got one other thing before you go. I love my socks. I oh, found a store yeah. on the weekend that had, had anchor socks. Nice. I found some for you as well. Amber, Amber has, has them for you. You got me. I didn't bring you, you anything. It's Look, okay. Can I open it? Yeah. You can't. Yeah. Okay. Look it's at that. It's a tennis racket. Space, <laughs> space walk and socks. Do you like it? Sp I love them. Keep inspiring Man, all I will of us. put those. I'll wear them for the rest of the day. Oh, Thank you. Awesome. I'll wear them during generator. Oh, I'll have them do. Okay. Thank okay. you. Thank Chris you Hadfield Commander. generator takes place at Roy Thompson Hall, as you said, November 15th, which is next Thursday. Go yeah. get tickets right now. It always sells out. We want to give our BT viewers a chance to win tickets. To win, just go to at BT Toronto. Tell us one thing you could do to help our environment. Use the hashtag BT had feel one thing that you could do because as you said when you're out in space you see how small the world is and we have to work together to make it good and strong yeah there's an environmental component to the people on stage too so yeah i look forward to seeing everybody there always good to see you nice we're to six see you too. we don't want to get you yep. sick so right. we'll elbow we'll bump it elbow and we'll head over to uh, stella you're out of canlin